all right guys in today's video we're gonna be changing out my radiator for custom aluminum one so this is on the 6.9 f250 at 86 i got this new radiator for 150 bucks the aluminum one normally 500 bucks amazon special i'm just unloosen all these bolts i mean loosen all these bolts and then the two lines got new ones this radiator leaks all over it so we got that's why we got the new one and it is pretty sweet it's a really good brand just sit back relax and watch this beautiful montage We just got this thing loose. Now I gotta drain all the fluid out. All right, guys, I got this thing to drain. It's all undone. I got new upper hose. Had to go back up to the stores. Why it's dark now uh, to get the lower hose because Napa sold me the wrong one. So this thing's ready to come out and put the new one in. <laughs> All right, everybody, it is the next day. I actually did not get too much recording in last night because I had to, oh my gosh, I had to run up to AutoZone and get the uh, lower radiator hose. Now, for some reason, sold me the wrong one. So I got it all installed last night. It was a pretty um, large process. It's pretty gross, lots of black gunk. But we did get it on last night, got the new radiator hoses hooked up and it should be ready to go. I just got to put some more transmission fluid in it. The only thing about this truck, it's got a little transmission leak. Later on, I'll probably rebuild it. Check it out. Looking very, very, very sexy. The only thing, it needs a little cap on that reservoir. I got black still all on my hands, even though I've washed them like 20 times. But looking really nice. I did not put the uh, shroud back on, and this radiator literally is leaking everywhere. It's just leaking absolutely everywhere. It got horrible leak spots. That thing weighs like 100 pounds. It's ridiculous. Ford, you overdid it with that radiator. This one probably weighs 50 or less. Now, I did pick this thing up for $149.01. Oh, there's a bee. Hey, buddy. How are you doing? Hi to the camera. His name's Dave. I'm trying to get this motor running better. Thank you for all your help. But I did put new belts all on this thing. A little bit of a struggle. Not too bad though. I did put a new commander deal in it for the glow plugs. Dude before me put a new windshield wiper motor. I put a new fan motor. Whenever I got this, the AC wasn't hooked up, so I had to get the belt for that also. And now we've got a new radiator in it. I did fill it up with radiator fluid. So now I just need to top off this transmission and then um, start her up and throw some more fluid in there once it starts running through it. Found the key. Throw it in here. Let's see if this old girl will start up. <laughs> Well, come on, girl. You gotta start up. It's for the people. It's for the people. There she goes. definitely good on this truck the um, old radiator was full of junk I don't I don't even know what it's rust or something but just I don't even understand how that thing was working with as much leaks as that thing had and then 
just the disgustingness inside of it. Look at that, so gross. Gotta grab some more of this. I'm not sure if this thing has like a built-in warm-up mode, but it idles up high at the start and then when it warms up, it idles down. So far, I've put five gallons of coolant in here. Very big radiator. I think this is like a five row radiator. Just give it a second to warm up and then see if we need to add any more. We'll go take it for a little spin around the yard. <laughs> I don't got it uh, registered right now. I mean, I don't got it insured right now. I got it registered. All right, guys. A little bit of a weird vibration I'm feeling. I'm not sure what it is. This thing drives really good, especially for an 86. Not sure what all that vibration is. They're not vibration noise. We will take this thing for a real ride, like down the highway or something. But I don't got insurance on this thing yet, so I can't currently. But I did just get my driver's license, so we need to go take the 96 out for a spin. I mean, this is a perfect side by side. No, horn works. Not the loudest horn, but it works. Let's see if I can't. Oh, it shouldn't be muddy right here. Here's my 96. I mean, yeah, 96. This is 10 years older than uh, that truck. But this truck, I think, um, what was that? I think some new tires and then just some a couple little things here and there that this thing needs, like maybe some body mounts in the future. I just came back here, so I gotta do what I did a while ago again. This is a really good driving truck. I really like it. I think I'm gonna keep it. I say that about a lot of things. Nothing stays with me for too long. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoy videos on this Ford truck. We're gonna be fixing this thing up, and uh, it's gonna be a fun little project. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm sorry to keep you so long even though it's probably like a six, seven minute video. Guys, thanks for watching. Remember, Jesus loves you and uh, y'all have a great day.